What's going on, everybody? Um, what if, what do I start? <coughs> well, I got this card from Kevin, NYC Reloader, uh, a couple weeks ago. I've been really behind on videos and stuff like that. That's really, really nice card you got. And this is May the Lord bless you and your family forever, and may freedom's light always shine in your home. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. Really like that. Um, it's a really nice card, really nice logo. Uh, this one I got from Willie Bullet Man. May the joys of the season make every moment special. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Willie. Now those are several weeks overdue, but been busy. Um, went to Uncle Jim's house to visit, as most of you probably know, last weekend. And MCK dropped by. Yes, unloaded. MCK said he made this holster for me. For my wife's LCR. And this, man, this is awesome. I can't believe he made this. It looks really, really good. And the fit. It's perfect. That gun is not going anywhere. And you can still draw. It's really nice. Um, inside the waistband holster. I really like that a lot, man. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate the crap out of that. It's beautiful stitching. And it smells, oh, it smells awesome. Thank you very much, Mark, MCK. That's much appreciated. And on top of that, he gave me a little Maybelline box. Maybelline Man Mark. I call him that because when you look at him, there's no way that dude has grandkids because he looks like he's about 35, 40 years old. <laughs> so I call him the Maybelline Man. But he gave me some uh, lot cutters to shoot from the LCR too. Let's see how much these weigh. I'm not sure. I think he had it written up here, which ones they were, but the ink rubbed off. What do we have? The Wabu says 144.4. 144 grain, full wad cutter, uh, single-ended. They don't smell like ass. They're good. Let's see, where's the camera at? Change the focus here. There we go. Beautiful bullets. Nope, Bow dropped it. Beautimus. Nice crimp groove up top. On button top. Flat base. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the bullets and the holster. That is incredible. You do good work. <coughs> um, excuse me. Willie Bullet Man gave me these bullets. These are Nosler Ballistic Tips. I think they're 55 grainers. Uh, I traded him some 77 grainers. He said he had some of these he can give me, and I, I gave him a couple hundred 77 grain Noslers. That is what that one looks like. It's right there. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Willie. I appreciate it. It was, it was fantastic meeting all you guys out of Uncle Jim's. Like, you couldn't ask for a better group of people. I mean, our whole community, just outstanding. And it was a blast. So huge, huge thank you to those guys. Huge thank you to Full Ed Taco, Jerry, Ozark Spirit, MCK. Um, I'm forgetting people I know. Uncle Jim, obviously, Mig, Cranky, Willie, Pat. And all those guys just brought a bunch of stuff out there and let us shoot their guns and shoot their ammo. It was an awesome time. I'm still, it kind of feels like it didn't happen, you know, it went by so fast and then you come home and get back into the grind of work and it kind of feels like you were dreaming the whole time. This gigantic heavy box from Mr. Chico Wise. This is a big box for just sending me a few bullets. <laughs> um, several months ago I hooked Chico up with a uh, Hornady case trimmer that I no longer had to use for. So I sent it to him because he said he was going to be starting loading for 308 fairly soon. So I figured he could use a case trimmer and Chico's an awesome dude and he deserves it. He's always looking for a good deal so I figured nothing beats free, right? <laughs> and he's paying me back. Holy crap, look at all this stuff. Beautiful packaging. Uh, this looks like, oh crap man, he didn't have to do this. Wow. These are pewter. Very, very nice. Miss Lakeside. Mm. Well, sorry Miss Lakeside. You're getting melted down. What do we got here? Yale alumni. Yep. You're going downrange. Oh, here's a Peter Tankard. Let's see what this one says on it. Trent Tigner, number 38. Thank you very much. Oh, here's that purple. I really like the purple powder coat that, that he's got. Make some beautiful bullets with that. And then we got some dark gray. <coughs> Excuse me. And the bottom here, put that away before I cut myself. Gloss white. Very nice, very nice. I'll be trying those out. Are we in focus? No. Oh my goodness. 
Well. Okay, I just realized we weren't in focus for any of that. So, so far he's got a couple pewter cups, saucers. We got Peter Tankard here. That's probably a pound and a half or so right there, man. That's awesome. Looks like he sent me some of the full wad cutters at MCK. I sent they look like they're the same bullet. They may not be. Um, some of these are powder coated. These look like some semi wad cutters for the 38. That purple is an awesome color. That looks so good. I'm definitely gonna try that one out. I'll have to find out which purple that is too. Uh, some 30 cal. Guessing these are for 300 blackout, 308. Those will come in handy because I plan on doing blackout pretty soon. More 30 caliber. He coated these. Beautiful work. Beautiful. Uh, this looks like the NOE 133 round flat. I had this mold um, in the regular round nose and it looks like a pretty similar profile. Shoot those out of the 9mm. Very nicely done. And there's even more in here. Holy crap. So we've got some more of the NOE raw, not coated yet. More of the NOE with a nice, nice teal looking color. I like that a lot. Like a teal blue green powder coat. Uh, these look like, can't tell those are 30 cal. Yeah, they must be, they have a cantaloupe around them. 30 caliber, very nice. Jacketed bullets with a flat point. And some more of the semi wide cutters for 38, 357. Raw, man, that's, holy crap. He didn't have to send me all them. Wow. And there's more in here. Oh. <laughs> a little pair of blue, uh, blue earplugs. Thank you for those. Could always use a spare set in case somebody at the range don't have any. And some mechanics gloves. Right on. He asked me what size gloves I wear, and I'm guessing this was why. And they fit. Perfect. Very awesome. Thank you. I'm going to pause this and, and resume after the fan turns off. All right, the fan quit going. Um, I did find a note, and it looks like I was, I was right for the majority of them, except for those uh, jacketed bullets are the 358-158 green. American Reloading, that was these guys right here. You got some nice handwriting. I'm jealous. I, <laughs> I got terrible handwriting. Uh, the paper is rust inhibitor paper. I use to wrap up certain dyes that don't get much use. Other items I use to you, hopefully. Thanks for all you do, Chico. Man, thanks for all you do. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I think this is called a VCI paper, I think I heard Tread call it. He's, he uses this to wrap up his mold blocks, too, and wrap up your dyes. That's good stuff. I appreciate that. Oh, crap, and there's more. He sent me... Some tough grip black beauty gloves, medium sized. Ones he always wears in his videos. Oh yeah. Right on man, I was running kinda low. That's awesome. Got some channel swag, got a sticker and a magnet. Got a spot for both of these. A little paper. Two American flag stickers, very nice, always love these. I got just a spot for them too. And then this, more pewter, good lord. Scratch test. <laughs> Bringing the key into the thrift shop, scratching everything up. I like it. Wow. Man, there's a ton in here. <coughs> Packed it very well, also. I save all my packing material. This one's really. Heavy. You didn't. This one's very heavy. And the reason is because there's a chunk of lead in the bottom of it. 11 to 12 BHN. Pencil test. Man, that is awesome. So we got pewter, we got lead. Look here, I got more. Dang, man. 10 to 12 BHN. You spent some time packaging this stuff. <laughs> <coughs> One more puck of lead. A little seashell. 10 to 12 BHN. Dude, this is phenomenal. Look, look at all this stuff. I cannot thank you enough. Man, I just sent you a case trimmer. That was it. <laughs> Tons of pewter here. Wow. You got some good thrift stores down by you. I don't find stuff like this up here. I used to just find candlesticks and I found one of these once. One of these cuffs. But other than that, mainly just candlesticks and those cups. Oh, what else have I found? I don't even remember. It's late. I'm tired. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I got a lot of stuff to do coming up. Holy crap. So, Chico, thank you again, man. That <laughs> blows me away. Absolutely. So, again, Chico, MCK, Willie, everybody, Taco, 
Taco let us shoot all kinds of guns, ammo, up at Uncle Jim's. I mean, he, he brought a ton of stuff up there. Jerry, MCK showed up. Let us shoot his guns. Pat with his martini shot a ton of that. I just, I had an amazing weekend. And this, coming home to this, even better. I can't thank you guys enough. So, until next time, thanks for watching.